folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road and today I want to show you something so exciting. Seriously, you probably wonder why I'm standing in the basement right now with sunglasses on my head. Stay tuned to find out. I had plans for today, big grand plans and they all involved being outside and planting things. The weather had other plans. I did transplant some green beans successfully, but honestly there was so much mud caking on my hands and my gloves that it was just a mess. Robbie did manage to replant his Swiss chard. I don't know if I told you guys, but he decided he was gonna start his own uh, vegetable selling business, which is awesome. It's called Robbie's Roots. But anyway, the point is we got a few plants outside and we decided, you know what? This just isn't working. Let's go inside and show you something cool. This bright ball of indoor sunshine is our indoor growing space. We are in our basement right now and you might be wondering why on earth I'm growing plants in here when Kenny just built me a greenhouse. First, we had this indoor growing space long before we had the greenhouse. This is where we've always started our plants from seed, uh, not as successfully usually as we did this year, but we've had this for a while. And the other thing is our greenhouse is really just an above ground greenhouse with no auxiliary heat. You know, we haven't gotten to the point where we have barrels in there to, to kind of keep in warmth and water or we're not composting inside the greenhouse. So it does still get quite cold overnight. Given that our tomatoes, cucumbers, summer squash, anything that's that long, warm growing season type plant can't go outside until about mid-May, even though our last frost date is about May 1st. Another reason that we will always keep this indoor grow area in addition to a greenhouse is this is a great place to start seeds, even for plants that are ready to go outside much sooner. We started all of our green beans in here and we've already transplanted them outside. We've even started things like peas, Swiss chard, lettuce, just to get that seed sprouted in a warm, moist space and uh, then transition it to outside. It speeds up our growing process, which is good because we're usually behind. Now I need to start here at the top and look at what is growing well what needs repotted, and potentially what needs a different light source. Also, sometimes I like to garden in my slippers. It's another reason. So this is filled with peppers that uh, haven't sprouted. We still haven't gotten the hang of starting peppers from seed, but uh, we're gonna keep trying. Our tomatillos came up great though and those are definitely ready to be transplanted. When we ordered 1020 trays and seeding trays from Bootstrap Farmer, we got this handy little tool in the package. It's for getting your seedlings 
out of the seeding tray for replanting and it's amazing. If you're interested in any of the products that we are using for our starts here, I'll put a link in the description to the products that we use from Bootstrap Farmer. Their products are really nice and durable and they're an American family owned company as well. Like with tomatoes, you can plant some of the stalk to a tomatillo and help uh, it have a sturdier base. Now that this is repotted, let me do the five other plants quick and we'll move on to the next thing. All right, let's label these so we don't forget what we've got here. I am gonna transplant these three tiny little pepper seedlings. Although I'm sure they're not root bound in there, they don't look amazing. So I'm gonna get them into some fresh soil and probably put them under a different light as well. We've had a lot of trouble getting our pepper seeds to germinate, so I'll give it another shot. Honey, see, I only have three of these, which is why I wanted to organize the tray differently. Well, if you have three of those, they'll go three here. And then if you have another plant, you put the next three. That's all I'm saying. That wasn't the plan. Six plants. I'm gonna six in a row. I'm gonna pinch off these seed leaves. Yeah, okay. Those don't, ones look healthy though. Don't ruin my peppers. You got it? I'm the only reason you have any peppers. It's not even true. None of yours sprouted. <laughs> Okay, that part's true. I mean, you got three out, out of, of 72. Almost 72. Three out of 72, okay? Nah, these six were tomatillos. Yeah, but I don't eat tomatillos. Yes, you do. I eat them once, and I picked the rest out. I had like one. They were not amazing. I didn't like them. These will, they were store bought, so they tasted like disappointment. Mm. Just like store bought tomatoes. Bah. <laughs> These are grown on our own, so they will be amazing, tomatillos. These are peppers. Oh. Sweet peppers. Let's label those. Ooh, these are the rainbow ones. Put it in the front. Boom. Can't even read it. All right, what's next? All right. I think I can reuse this dirt. Or did it get well, something I, funky on top of here? No, I mean, I think you should just wait to see if they pop. They're not gonna pop. You don't know that. I do know that. They could still pop. They could just be taking a while. I'm gonna try to start some seeds in wet paper towels, I think. Yes, that would be yeah. amazing. Yeah, that's I do what that we're all the do. time. I just didn't do them with my peppers. You do that all the time. You've done it like once. That's not no, the same as all the time. I have done it. You've seen me do it so many times. Kenny, and then you're like, what is in this wet paper towel? Kenny, this video is getting very ugly. You need to be kind to me. Ah. I am so kind to you. It's true, you are. But we are talking about my peppers. All right, this next tray is a bit of a mess, but I've got some black zebra tomatoes in here that I want to get transplanted, and those will go well in the same area as peppers and tomatillos. Kenny keeps giving me a hard time about this tray, but honestly, we germinated more sunflowers and green beans than we would ever know what to do with. Why do I keep giving you a hard time about the tray? What do I keep saying? What do you keep Oh, oh. Stop putting. <laughs> yeah, so like green beans and tomatoes don't go together in terms of like temperature and light and all that kind of stuff. So I did kind of screw that up with some of my Say it again. seed starting. Say it again. I, I did kind of screw that up with some of my seed starting. Uh-huh. Say so Kenny was right. I mean, are you right if you're not here doing it with me and you're just backseat driving after the fact? I was doing all of the other things you wanted me to do. Hey, when are you gonna put the baseboard on the bathroom? Kenny went and got me this nice cement mixing tray so I don't make a mess. Although I am the one who cleans up the most messes around here, I also make the most. You're something. Mm -hmm. Once I get these replanted, I am going to look at what shelf tomatoes are doing the best on. And that is where this tray is going to go. Well, what are you... Courtney... It needed more dirt. Yeah, but that's what this is for. 
not so you, it was the whole point was to not make a mess over here, it was to make your mess over here. Oh, well, I don't think, oh, they do fit in there. They do fit in there. <laughs> I've done this a couple times. Oh, There's okay. something else. <laughs> then all we gotta do is dump the dirt from this one into that one over there, and we're good. You got it? I got it. All right, thanks. I'm gonna water this tray while I look at the tomatoes on each of the shelves and decide which lighting and heat setup is best for tomatoes. This tray? No, this tray. I was gonna say, I watered this tray. I'm gonna so water this tray. Water that tray. That makes more sense. All right, put some water in here in the bottom. And then I'm going to do a little watering on the top, too, because that soil was pretty dry. When I met Kenny, he had this weird hobby growing. It weird. It was weird. It was growing bonsai trees. But Kenny also has ADHD. So if you know anything about trees, um, they take a long time to grow. So that hobby wasn't for him. But I did get this great little watering tool from it. Thanks for not being into bonsai trees anymore. Yeah. Let's look at the different uh, setups we have here and decide where to put this tray. Up on this top shelf, we have two high powered broad spectrum lights, which means that we can have seedlings that are growing in the uh, veg stage, or we can have things that are blooming up here. And we also have a heat mat. So this is a warm, very bright space. Let's take a look at how the tomatoes are doing up there. They look pretty good. This might also be a good transition for going outside because all of a sudden it's going to be much brighter than it is here in the basement with the artificial light. Now on this level, although the lighting looks different from one side to the other, it's actually about the same. This is a fluorescent light that typically has four bulbs in it, uh, but there's an issue with the ballast and only two of them are working. And over here we have two seedling lights. Uh, let's take a look at how our tomatoes are doing over here and then under this light. These are San Marzano's and they're looking pretty good too. What I'm looking for here is that they're happy and springy. Like they're reaching for the light, the leaves aren't all turned down. Um, but one thing I am noticing here is the smaller seedlings are kind of getting left behind. Like they're in the shadow of these bigger plants and they're not really growing. So probably an indication that I should get the rest of these out of here and under a different light and let these seedlings reach their full potential. Or, I don't know, maybe we don't need 10,000 tomato plants. I think that's more accurate. I don't know. We might. I'm feeling like those right there, right there, look at mm -hmm. them. He is, she's ready for the party. She is ready for the she party. She is ready for the party. This look, one. Look at this one, yeah. reaching up. Yeah, way That's ready for the party. For right there. Ready for ready the party. Ready for the party. Yeah. The only thing I will say is these are sauce tomatoes, Kenny, so more is better. As long as you promise to make that sauce this time. I will. I'm doing so much better with all that kind of stuff while we're in quarantine. so good. <laughs> that sauce was so good. Okay. Okay. Next one. Next one. This is under the fluorescent light. Um, and honestly, when Kenny replanted this one, it was like from an early batch and we didn't have a lot that, uh, that germinated. We had them in the greenhouse, it was too chilly. And now it looks amazing. And we have a heat mat on this shelf too. I mean, we have a heat mat on every shelf, probably just could have said that. Here on the bottom shelf, we have another high powered light. And you know, I said that we had a heating mat everywhere and I actually think there is not a heating mat under this. Nope. Color looks great, but they're not growing very fast, which I would imagine is the heat mat or lack thereof. So I think we should get these on a heat mat. On this side, we have a fluorescent light. This one does have all four bulbs working, so higher wattage output here. And let's take a look at these plants. And these under the uh, fluorescent light seem to be doing pretty well also. So basically, I think we're good with any of these lighting situations other than the seedling light and as long as it has a heat map. So whatever shelf works. 
That's good because we have a lot of tomatoes. Let's get them on the shelf. Safety first. That's, that's not the shelf. Yeah, we decided any of the shelves. No, we were going to put them on the bottom one. No, you said. Oh my goodness. We just talked about this. And yeah, then you're like, we no, were we're going to put them right there where that opening is. Honey, I'm going to have to replant more tomatoes. There's going to be a zillion of them. Blah, 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 so it's just blah, starting blah, blah. at the top. Fine, starting at the top. Speaking right. of the top, why don't you tell everybody what the flip that is right there? <laughs> yeah, please. Because this is something people do. <laughs> please tell everyone. One day I was on a roll starting seeds. On a roll, you mean you had a few glasses of wine? And I was also on a roll planting seeds. Uh -huh. And I planted corn. 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 <laughs> Indoors. Indoors. Because that's necessary. Look how great it's doing though. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna be off to the races in two weeks when this can go outside. Ooh, my gourds look good. They are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. Where'd you go? Right here. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh yeah. It definitely is gorgeous. Oh, you meant the plant. Got it. Aw, you're sweet. What do you want? More green beans. I hope you enjoyed that look at our indoor grow space. I am super glad that Kenny built me a greenhouse this year, but I am also glad that we have an indoor space that uh, I know how to grow in. There's a lot to learn about the greenhouse and it's gonna take some time. And it's good to know that I've got plants in here that are definitely going to make it. And have you grown anything ridiculous inside? Please tell us in the comments. I, I really need to know that other people have done things like this. Thanks for watching. Come back and see what we plant next. And I'm sure we will get back outside soon.